Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice algebra equation x to the power 9 plus uh, x to the power 5 divided by x to the power 8 plus uh, x to the power 6 is equal to 7 over 2. Our job is to find all possible values of x. So let's start. This x to the power 9 can be written as uh, x to the power 5 times x to the power 4 plus x to the power 5 divided by this uh, x to the power 8 can be written as uh, x to the power 6 times x squared plus x to the power 6 is equal to 7 over 2. Now from the numerator we can factor out x to the power 5 and in bracket left uh, x to the power 4 plus uh, 1 divided by from the denominator we can factor out x to the power 6 in bracket left x squared plus 1 is equal to 7 over 2 next x to the power 5 times x to the power 4 plus 1 divided by this x to the power 6 can be written as x to the power 5 times x times x squared plus 1 is equal to 7 over 2. Now this x to the power 5 will be cancelled out with this x to the power 5. We are left with x to the power 4 plus 1 divided by x times x squared will become x cubed plus uh, x times 1 will become x is equal to 7 over 2. Now we use cross multiplication we multiply this 2 by this expression and this 7 by this expression. So this will become 2 times uh, x to the power 4 plus 1 is equal to 7 times uh, x cubed plus uh, x and from here we divide both sides by x squared. So this will become 2 times x to the power 4 divided by x squared plus 1 over x squared is equal to this will become 7 times x cubed over x squared plus uh, x over x squared. Next 2 times uh, this x to the power 4 over x squared will become x squared plus uh, 1 over x squared is equal to 7 times uh, this x cubed over x squared will become x plus uh, this uh, x over x squared will become 1 over x. Now by using this algebraic identity a squared plus uh, b squared is equal to a plus b whole squared minus 2ab. This uh, x squared plus uh, 1 over x squared will become 2 times uh, x plus uh, 1 over x whole squared minus 2 is equal to 7 times uh, x plus uh, 1 over x. Now we suppose that uh, x plus uh, 1 over x is equal to t. So this equation will become 2 times t squared minus 2 is equal to 7 times t. And this 2 times t squared will become 2t squared. 2 times negative 2 negative 4 is equal to 7 times t. Move this 7t to the left hand side this will become 2t squared minus 7 times t minus 4 is equal to 0. 
Now this is a quadratic equation and is factorable. We write 2t squared and we break this negative 7 times t as a negative 8 times t plus 1 times t minus 4 is equal to 0. From these two terms we can factor out 2 times t and in bracket left t minus 4. From these two terms we can factor out plus 1. In bracket left t minus 4 is equal to 0. And this t minus 4 is a common factor. So, we factor out this t minus 4. The in bracket left in bracket left this 2 times t and this plus 1. In bracket left 2 times t plus 1 is equal to 0. From here either this expression t minus 4 is equal to 0 or this expression 2 times t plus 1 is equal to 0. From this equation we get the value of t is equal to 4 and from this equation we get the value of t is equal to negative 1 over 2. Now recall that we have supposed we have supposed that uh, x plus 1 over x is equal to t. We have supposed that uh, x plus uh, 1 over x is equal to t. So, when t is equal to 4, then this equation will become x plus uh, 1 over x is equal to 4. And if we multiply both sides by x, uh, this implies that uh, x squared plus 1 is equal to 4 times x. Move this 4x to the left hand side, this will become x squared minus 4 times x plus 1 is equal to 0. And this quadratic equation is not factorable, so we solve it by quadratic formula. According to quadratic formula, x is equal to negative times the value of b is negative 4 plus or minus square root of in place of b squared we write in negative 4 squared minus 4 times a is 1 times c is 1 divided by 2 times a is 1. Next x is equal to negative times negative 4 will become 4 plus or minus square root of this uh, negative 4 squared will become 16 and the uh, negative 4 times 1 times 1 will become 4 divided by 2 times 1 2 and uh, x is equal to 4 plus minus square root of this uh, 16 minus 4 will become 12 divided by 2 and uh, x is equal to 4 plus minus square root of 12 can be written as a uh, root 4 times root 3 divided by 2. Next x is equal to 4 plus minus square root of 4 will become 2 times root 3 divided by 2 and uh, x is equal to from the numerator we can factor out 2 in bracket left 2 plus minus root 3 divided by 2. This 2 will be cancelled out with this 2 and from here we get uh, 2 values of x x1 is equal to 2 plus uh, root 3 and x2 is equal to 2 minus root 3. When t is equal to negative 1 over 2, then this will become x plus 1 over x is equal to negative 1 over 2. We can write the denominator 1 and LCM of this 1 and x is x. x divided by 1 is x, x times this x will become x squared plus x divided by x1, 1 times this one, 1. 
is equal to negative 1 over 2. From here we use cross multiplication. So this will become 2 times x squared plus 1 is equal to negative 1 times x and 2 times x squared will become 2x squared 2 times 1 plus 2 is equal to negative 1 times x negative x move this negative x to the left hand side this will become 2x squared plus uh, x plus 2 is equal to 0 from this quadratic equation according to quadratic formula x is equal to negative 1 plus minus square root of in place of for b squared we write uh, 1 squared minus 4 times uh, a is 2 times uh, c is 2 divided by 2 times uh, a is 2 next x is equal to negative 1 plus minus square root of this uh, 1 squared is uh, 1 and negative 4 times 2 times 2 will become negative 16 divided by 2 times 2 will become 4 x x is equal to negative 1 plus minus uh, square root of uh, 1 minus 16 will become negative 15 divided by 4 The x is equal to negative 1 plus minus uh, this square root of negative 15 can be written as uh, root negative 1 times root 15 divided by 4 and x is equal to negative 1 plus or minus uh, root negative 1 will become i times uh, root 15 divided by 4. From here we get uh, third value of x is equal to negative 1 plus uh, i times uh, root 15 divided by 4 and uh, fourth value of x is equal to negative 1 minus i times uh, root 15 divided by 4. So we have uh, four solutions of uh, this equation 2 plus root 3 to minus root 3 and then negative 1 plus i times root 15 over 4 negative 1 minus i times 15 over 4.